Hi friends, welcome to Painting Winter Skies. Go ahead and grab your craft kit and let's get started. You're going to need a bowl full of water, a pair of scissors, you might want a pair of tweezers or rubber gloves to help keep your hands a little bit clean at the final process. But otherwise, most of your supplies should have been in your craft kit. The first step is to take your tissue paper out of your baggie. Be careful that you don't get it wet. This is a special tissue paper called bleeding tissue paper. It's used for several art projects. It's a little different than the tissue paper that you use in your gifts. So go ahead and separate those out. And we're going to cut them into um, about one inch squares. You won't need all of your tissue paper for this project, just a portion of it. So I'm going to leave them stacked in a pile of three sheets. And I'm going to cut in a row and probably a second row to make sure that I have enough tissue paper. I'll fold this up and get it out of the way. I don't want it to get wet because I can use it for another project. Okay, so now I want to cut these into sections of about one inch. After you have them all cut, um, you'll probably want to separate them a little bit. Um, it makes it, when your hands are a little wet, it makes it a little complicated to try and separate them. So I'm going to just kind of spread them out a little bit so they're ready to go for our project. Okay, that looks pretty good. Our next step is to grab a sheet of your watercolor paper. Watercolor paper is a special paper that you can buy at local craft stores or discount stores. Um, it's a little bit sturdier, so it doesn't get too wavy when the paper gets wet. So we're going to need this and the marker that was included in your packet. This is kind of an idea of what our final project is going to look like. So you can see we're going to put a tree silhouette and then add some painting to the top. Your trees do not have to look like these trees. This is just an idea. Um, there's several ways you can draw a silhouette of a tree and I'm going to show you a couple of those before we get started so you have an idea the way you might like your trees to look. Um, one idea when you're putting your trees on there is to make one a little bit larger, um, one smaller, just to kind of give it a little bit of depth where they look like some are closer, some are further away. So here's an example of a type of tree silhouette. So you can add a few branches to this pine tree and kind of thicken it up a little bit. Pine trees don't use, lose their leaves during the winter, so they're usually a little fluffy yet. Or you can do a tree like you might have in your yard with the branches and no leaves right now because we're still in the middle of winter. So we're going to get started um, drawing our trees and you don't want to start at the bottom. I'm going to pull my sample up here again. You don't want to be all the way at the bottom. You want it to look like your trees are sitting in some snow. So varied heights starting a little ways up off the bottom of your page. And I'm just going to do a simple um, page just like I did before. So um, let's just make, I'm going to make a big tree with a trunk and kind of thicken up my trunk a little bit and just I'm going to do some swooping branches that are kind of resembling a pine tree but not, nothing too fancy. And then I'm going to add a little tree and kind of take the same approach. Now again, remember how I showed you the pictures um, of the other trees? And you can make yours whatever shape or style you want. I'm going very, very basic today. I'm gonna kind of thicken that trunk up a little bit. And to give you an idea what my basic trees look like. Okay, so kind of like this. The next step is going to involve your water and your paintbrush. So I'm going to scooch this a little bit closer. We are going to paint with the water 
wherever you would like your blue sky to show up. And if you have other brushes at home that you like better, you can certainly use those. A foam brush, mom or dad might have some foam brushes at home. Those work really well also. Um, so whatever you like to use the best, you can certainly use. I'm gonna kind of slide these over just a little bit and um, start working in increments. So um, your goal is to get your paper wet and you should be able to see the water on your paper. And as you're doing that, then you can lay these tissue paper pieces, kind of overlap them a little bit here and there on your page. And we just keep working across filling your page up with water and then tissue paper. And you can overlap them. You don't have to keep them as solid squares. If you overlap them, the colors are going to blend really nicely. And I'm gonna go all the way down um, to the bottom and work down to that snowy base. Like how do I want my snow level to slide across there? So. We're gonna put some pieces down at the bottom so I can kind of show you how that looks. And get those set on there so I have my snow line in my trees. And we sent enough paper so you can make two snowy images. And there's plenty of tissue paper um, to use for future projects as well. So you should be able to have a lot of fun with this. Um, bleeding tissue paper I ordered online um, off of Amazon or art stores typically have bleeding tissue paper. If you find that your um, project is drying a little bit too fast, you can paint over the top of um, the tissue as well. So we're going to go ahead and pause the film for just a little bit and I'm going to finish painting the water and adding some tissue paper to my project and then we'll get started back up again. Hi friends, so continue putting your tissue paper squares onto your paper until you have it covered in all the areas where you'd like sky. After you get that done, you might want to add a little bit of water to the top of your tissue just to give it a little more water to bleed onto your project. So it's going to look something like this, a little messy for right now. And now we have to have a little bit of patience because we need to let this sit for about five minutes or so. And that way it will give you time to have the tissue paper bleed onto your watercolor paper. So let's go ahead and set that down and you can go have a snack or go find a pair of tweezers or rubber gloves because the next part's going to get a little bit messy. So we'll see you in just a couple minutes. Hi friends, we're back and we have had a little bit of time to allow our tissue paper and water to bleed onto our watercolor paper. So the next part of our project is again a little messy and mine's actually starting to come off on its own. Um, but we are going to now either with your fingers or with your tweezers, we are going to pull all of the tissue paper pieces off. And so they will kind of fall off um, after all the water is absorbed and whatnot. So we're wanting to get all of those tissue paper pieces off of our project. So this is kind of what it will look like then. You can see that it kind of blends together and um, oozes on top of one another to give you some different color variations. So if you don't like the way yours turned out, if you need a little more color, you can start that process all over again. I see that I did have a little bit of white spot here that maybe I'd like that to be blue. So I could take my water and do it again and let it sit again. So if you're happy with it, we're ready for the next step. Um, before we do that next step, you do need to make sure that your paper is 100% dry. 
So if it's a little damp yet, you might give it a little more time alone. If it's dry, we are good to go. Okay friends, for the last part of our craft project, we will be using the white gel pen to add a few snowflakes into our picture. And you can see on this one that I've added them onto this side already, just using little dots randomly. And so I'm going to show you how to do that on the other side. Um, gel pens when they're new, sometimes they take just a little bit of time to get them started. And so we're just going to be drawing some little circles here and there um, to make snow all over our picture until it looks the way you want it. And you can do circles or you can do actual little snowflake patterns. Don't forget to put a couple on your trees around and you can just keep adding snow and adding snow until it looks the way you want it to look and there you have your winter sky paint project so I hope you had fun trying the bleeding tissue paper and some new items and you have enough to make two projects so make a couple and if you have more tissue paper left over after that just go grab some more watercolor paper and you can have lots of fun. Thank you for crafting up with us today and we hope to see you soon. Have a great day.